Hello, readers, and thank you for our next spelling lesson. This week we are in Unit 1, Lesson 2. Um, our story is Life on Earth and Beyond, an astrobiologist quest by Pamela Turner. Um, our skill this week is on Greek roots and bases. And just to give you an idea, if you haven't seen one already, um, with our words, what we're going to do is we're going to do every word. We have a routine. We'll give a sentence and a definition for every single one of our words. Um, our skill this today is on words with Greek roots and bases. Many words have either Greek roots or base words. These roots and bases all have their own meaning that they bring to a word. Some of the ones this week can function as prefixes or suffixes as well. The Greek roots and bases we're learning this week are chron, which means time, meter, which means measure, photo, which means light, bio, which means life, geo, which means earth, and logi, which means study of. And some of these you've probably seen before in third or fourth grade, um, so this would be a good reminder of those. We do have a routine we follow on our spelling lessons. Um, first, we say the word together. Um, then we're going to count the syllables in the words. Um, then, of course, we'll say it one more time. Then we'll spell it, and we always smash the word. We want to smash it into our brains. Um, last, we'll write it, and then we will circle whatever pattern. And since we're doing Greek and uh, Latin um, roots and base words, um, we'll find that, and we will circle it in the word. Let's get started. Our first word is meteorology. Say meteorology. Meteorology is the scientific study of weather and atmospheric processes. Let's count the syllables. Me, T, or all, O, G. Meteorology. Let's spell it. M, E, T, E, O, R, O, L, O, G, Y. Meteorology. And let's write it. And for all the write it, I will spell it out loud so you don't have to look at the screen unless you just want to. M, E, T, E, O, R, O, L, O, G, Y. Let's circle the uh, pattern, L-O-G-Y. On Mars, scientists studied Martian meteorology to understand how dust storms form in a thin atmosphere. Our next word is parameter. Say parameter. A parameter is a measurable factor that defines a system or sets the conditions of an experiment. Let's count the syllables. Parameter. Parameter. Let's spell it. P A R A M E T E R. Parameter. And let's write it. P A R A M E T E R. Let's circle that pattern. M E T E R. Meter, which you remember has to do with measurement. In the Earth-Moon climate model, researchers adjust the temperature parameter to see how surface ice responds. Our next word is symmetry. Say symmetry. Symmetry is a balanced similarity between parts of an object such that one side mirrors the other. Let's count the syllables. Symmetry. Symmetry. Let's spell it. S Y M M E T R Y symmetry. And let's write it. S Y M M E T R Y. Let's circle that pattern, M E T R. When drawing a planet's orbit, astronomers look for symmetry in its elliptical path around the Sun. Our next word is photocell. Say photocell. A photocell is an, an electronic device that converts light into electrical current. Let's count the syllables. Photocell. Photocell. Let's spell it. P H O T O C E L L. Photocell. And let's write it. P H O T O C E L L. Let's circle that part. Photo. The rover's solar-powered photocell automatically shuts off the instruments at night when no sunlight is detected. Our next word is photocopy. Say photocopy. As a noun, a photocopy is a paper duplicate made by a light-based copying machine. As a verb, to photocopy means to make a duplicate or a copy. 
Let's count the syllables. Photocopy. Photocopy. Let's spell it. P-H-O-T-O-C-O-P-Y. Photocopy. And let's write it. P-H-O-T-O-C-O-P-Y. Let's circle that pattern. Photo. The science teacher asked us to photocopy the chapter on extraterrestrial climates so that everyone had the same graph. Our next word is chronology. Say chronology. Chronology is the arrangement of events or dates in the order of their occurrence. Let's count the syllables. Chronology. Chronology. Let's spell it. C H R O N O L O G Y chronology. And let's write it. C H R O N O L O G Y. This actually has two parts. Let's circle crone, which has to do with time and logi, which is study of. In her book, Turner uses a clear chronology to show how our understanding of planets has evolved over centuries. Our next word is geocentric. Say geocentric. Geocentric describes a model of the universe that places Earth at the center. Count the syllables. Geocentric. Geocentric. Let's spell it. G-E-O-C-E-N-T-R-I-C. Geocentric. And let's write it. G-E-O-C-E-N. T R I C. Circle our pattern, geo. Early astronomers believed in a geocentric cosmos until Copernicus proposed that the sun was at the center. Our next word is biosphere. Say biosphere. The biosphere is the global sum of all ecosystems where the life exists on Earth. Let's count the syllables. Biosphere. Biosphere. Let's spell it. B I O S P H E R E. Biosphere. And let's write it. B I O S P H E R E. Let's circle that pattern. Bio. Turner explains how the Biosphere's thin layer of life-supporting gases makes Earth unique among planets. Our next word is ecology. Say ecology. Ecology is the branch of biology that studies interactions among organisms and their environments. Let's count the syllables. e call o g Ecology. Let's spell it. E C O L O G Y ecology. And let's write it. E C O L O G Y. Circle that pattern. L O G Y. Field researchers in the Atomic Desert apply principles of ecology to understand how microbes survive dr extreme dryness. The next word is symbiotic. Say symbiotic or symbiotic. Depends on how you say it. Symbiotic describes a close, long-term interaction between two different biological species, often benefiting both. Let's count the syllables. Symbiotic. Symbiotic. Let's spell it. S-Y-M-B-I-O-T-I-C. Symbiotic. Let's write it. S-Y-M-B-I-O-T-I-C. Circle that pattern, bio. Algae and fungi, fungi form a symbiotic relationship in lichens that allows them to colonize bare rock. Our next word is chronological. Say chronological. Chronological means arranged in the sequence in which things occurred in time. Let's count the syllables. Chronological. Chronological. Let's spell it. C H R O N O L O G I C A L. Chronological. Let's write it. C H R O N O 
L O G I C A L. Let's circle that pattern. C H R O N, which has to do with time. The appendix of Turner's book lists planetary discoveries in chronological order from Galileo's telescope to modern probes. The next word is speedometer. Say speedometer. A speedometer is an instrument that measures and displays the speed of a moving vehicle. Count the syllables. Speed -om -e -ter. Speedometer. Let's spell it. S-P-E-E-D-O-M-E-T-E-R. Speedometer. And let's write it. S P E E D O M E T E R. Circle meter, which has to do with measurement. On the lunar rover, the speedometer read zero even as dust drifted past in low gravity. The next word is geometric. Say geometric. Geometric relates to or describes the properties and relations of points lines, surfaces, and solids. Let's count the syllables. Geometric. Geometric. Let's spell it. G-E-O-M-E-T-R-I-C. Geometric. And let's write it. G-E-O-M-E-T-R-I-C. This one has two. Greek roots or bases, geos being used as a prefix. Turner describes how planetary rings display geometric patterns of particles orbiting in flat disc-shaped bands. The next word is photogenic. Say photogenic. Photogenic describes looking attractive in photographs or easily photographed. Let's count the syllables. Photogenic. Photogenic. Let's spell it. P H O T O G E N I C. Photogenic. Let's write it. P H O T O G E N I C. Let's circle that pattern. Photo. The Hubble Space Telescope captures a photogenic view of Jupiter's swirling storms in vivid colors. And our next word is odometer. Say odometer. An odometer is a device that measures the distance traveled by a vehicle. Let's count the syllables. Odometer. Odometer. Let's spell it. O-D-O-M-E-T-E-R. Odometer. Let's write it. O-D-O-M-E-T-E-R. Let's circle that word part, meter. Engineers checked the rover's odometer to confirm it had driven exactly five kilometers across the Martian plain. Our next word is geology. Say geology. Geology is the science that studies the Earth's physical structure, substance, history, and processes. Let's count the syllables. G-O-L-O-G. Geology. Let's spell it. G-E-O-L-O-G-Y. And let's write it. G-E-O-L-O-G-Y. Oh, we didn't spell it right. Did we spell it right? Let's do it again. G-E-O-L-O-G-Y, geology. Now, hopefully you've written it. If not, write it again. G-E-O-L-O-G-Y. Let's circle both patterns, geo and logi. In the Grand Canyon section, Turner explores geology to reveal how water carved layers of rock over millennia. Our next word is synchronize. Say synchronize. To synchronize means to cause two or more events to occur at the same time or rate. Let's count the syllables. Synchronize. Synchronize. Let's spell it. S-Y-N-C-H-R-O-N-I-Z-E, synchronize. And let's write it. S-Y-N-C-H-R-O-N-I-Z-E. 
Circle that pattern. Chrome. Mission Control had to synchronize cameras on multiple satellites to capture the eclipse from different angles. Our next word is geography. Say geography. Geography is a study of places, the relationships between people and their environments, and the physical features of Earth. Let's count the syllables. Geography. Geography. Let's spell it. G E O G R A P H Y geography. And let's write it. G E O G R A P H Y. Our next, oh, and circle the pattern, geo. Turner uses Earth's geography, mountains, oceans, deserts, as analogs for terrain on other planets. Our next word is chronic. Say chronic. Chronic describes something that persists for a long time or constantly reoccur recurs. Let's count the syllables. Chronic. Chronic. Let's spell it. C-H-R-O-N-I-C. Chronic. Let's write it. C-H-R-O-N-I-C. Circle the pattern. Researchers worry that chronic radiation exposure on Mars could harm astronauts' long-term health. And our last word is photon. Say photon. A photon is a particle representing a quantum of light or other electromagnetic radiation. Let's count the syllables. Photon. Let's spell it. P-H-O-T-O-N, photon. And let's write it. P-H-O-T-O-N. Let's circle our pattern again. Photo. Space telescopes detect photons from distant stars to determine a planet's atmosphere by its absorption lines. That was our last word. Thanks for sticking around to the end, and until next time, happy reading.